He's been called the anti-fat pastor. Now Steve Reynolds is sharing the simple lifestyle changes, inside and out, that he says will help you keep off the pounds in the new year. All right, coming up, this pastor now has a bod for God. This pastor. This pastor, this is what he looked like before losing 115 pounds, but he didn't stop there. He got his parishioners to lose over 2,000 collective pounds. Their heavenly secrets next. Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Overweight for most of his life, Pastor Steve Reynolds says he only began to lose weight when he prayed for guidance and relied on God. 115 pounds later, the pastor is doing more than saving souls. He's also saving lives, encouraging church members to enter the world of faith based dieting. Now, Pastor Reynolds is sharing his weight loss principles in his new book, Bod for God, The Four Keys to Weight Loss. And he joins us today along with parishioners Gail Mates and Mike Venson. Hello, Happy New Year. How are you doing? Um, first of all, you Happy tried to lose weight yourself. Why did, or how did you realize that the answers were in religion, in the Bible? Well, as I struggled with my weight pretty much all my life, I figured, you know, I've been telling people as a pastor, the answers are in the Bible. And so I thought, here I am, 340 pounds, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes. I was digging my grave with a knife and a fork and an ice cream spoon. And so I went to the Bible, and I studied the Bible and discovered the word bodies in the Bible 179 times. And out of those passages, I developed four keys to weight loss that have applied to my life. Yeah, you created this acronym for the word diet. So what are the four letters to be successful with the diet? Well, number one, people need to understand this is not short-term, but long-term. It's not your traditional diet, but it's taking these four keys, which are D, that's dedication, that's honoring God with your body, and then I is inspiration, that's motivating yourself for change, and then E is eat and exercise, that's managing your habits, and then T, which is so important, and that is team, building a circle of support. Gail, let me ask you, tell me about your struggle and how did you find Pastor Steve and his program? Well, my daughter had said to me that she was afraid that I was not going to be around for her children and she was 17 years old and she would cry and cry and cry. I was told that I was a walking heart attack with all my health conditions. So one day I was just going by the church and I saw that they were having a weight loss competition and I had tried everything. I had decided that if this hadn't worked, if it, nothing else was going to work for me, I was going to get a lap band surgery. So I went and I joined the program and I've lost over 50 pounds. I went from doing absolutely no exercise to now I'm training for a 10K and I am now the national spokesperson for the Heart Association and I won a Lifestyle Change Award in Washington DC at the Heart Walk. Wow, congratulations. And Thank Mike, you. how did giving your life to God help you lose weight? Well, it uh, just took uh, emotional issues that I think people who are overweight struggle with and it just gives you a certain calmness in your life that you can deal with things and handle things and uh, uh, it, it just makes things uh, easier for you uh, uh, emotionally to deal with the uh, struggle of weight loss. And I think there's so many wonderful weight loss programs out there uh, and they uh, talk about the physical and the nutritional side of it, but very few of them ever get into the emotional issues of dealing with losing weight. Well, congratulate you all on your success and this this book Thank sounds you. amazing and the program sounds great I wish we had more time to talk about it but everyone uh, go read the book Gail <laughs> Mates Mike Venson and Pastor Steve Reynolds thank you. thank you so much for joining us and Happy New Year thank you for having thank us you.